By the way, one thing that I think we're going to get, which is about when the president did sign the executive order, that Hillary Clinton actually initiated giving foreign service professionals some right vis-a-vis their partners to be able to travel with them, et cetera. But we're going to go beyond that. My colleague, Tammy Baldwin, has got a bill, which I believe will become law in this Congress, to grant domestic partner benefits to federal employees. This is the federal government as employer, not as regulator. It used to be, when I first came to Congress, we had what was called the legislative veto. That was a system whereby an action taken either by the President or the District of Columbia could be vetoed by one House of Congress. And the Supreme Court in the decision, uh, the Chada decision, it was an immigration case, the Supreme Court invalidated that and they said, look, the Constitution is very clear. Congress can only have binding action if it passes a law. That means both houses of Congress vote for it and the president signs it or they override a veto. That's good news in the marriage area because the answer is that Congress will, I believe, let that stand and many of us will fight to make sure that happens. The only way the anti-same-sex marriage people will be able to nullify the district's decision <coughs> is if they get a law passed that is signed by the president or is overridden if he veils it, which repeals that. And I do not believe they can get it. They certainly can't get it freestanding. The question would be, could they attach it to the District of Columbia appropriation? But we've already gotten a good indication that they're not even gonna try, because earlier the District of Columbia decided that it would recognize same-sex marriages conducted in other states. There was an effort by some Republicans to oppose that. They didn't even bring it to a vote. Very strong supporter of fairness named Joe Serrano, who's the subcommittee chairman of the Appropriations Committee at District of Columbia, fought hard against it. So the answer is the only way Congress could overturn that would be by a law either signed by the president or overridden, and I believe we will be able to defeat any such effort so same-sex marriage will go into effect in the District of Columbia. The signs it or they override a veto. That's good news in the marriage area because the answer is that Congress will, I believe, let that stand, and many of us will fight to make sure that happens. The only way the anti-same-sex marriage people will be able to nullify the district's decision <coughs> is if they get a law passed that is signed by the president or is overridden if he veils it, which repeals that. And I do not believe they can get it. They certainly can't get it freestanding. The question would be, could they attach it to the District of Columbia appropriation? But we've already gotten a good indication that they're not even gonna try, because earlier the District of Columbia decided that it would recognize same-sex marriages conducted in other states. There was an effort by some Republicans to oppose that. They didn't even bring it to a vote. A very strong supporter of fairness named Joe Serrano who's the subcommittee chairman of the Appropriations Committee at District of Columbia, fought hard against it. So the answer is the only way Congress could overturn that would be by a law either signed by the president or overridden, and I believe we will be able to defeat any such effort, so same-sex marriage will go into effect in the District of Columbia. On the, um,